High School in Game 1 of the 2018 New York Holiday Challenge featuring the Bishop Benjamin Hawks and the Mount Vernon Knights. I ask that you please stand for the playing of our national anthem. Matthew Melissa Minaj, senior. 2-2, two, two, my name Nazir Davis, junior. Number two, Joel Cooper, senior. Number 23, Damon Scott, junior. Number 15, Nigel Harris, junior. Number 35, Julius Cobbs, senior. Number 14, Sebastian Daly, and I'm senior. Number 32, Thomas Brooks, and I'm a senior. Number three, Charles Lovett, Jr. Number 11, Christopher Ferron, and I'm a senior. Number 31, Jovan Young, and I'm a junior. Number 33, Orlando Dawkins, and I'm a junior. Number 30, Troy Hupstead, Jr. Number 24, Elijah Harris, Sr. Number 21, Selwyn Paul, Jr. I'm number one, Urban Patrick, Jr. Guard. Welcome to this broadcast of Mount Vernon High School basketball where the Mount Vernon High School Knights will be going on the, going up against the Bishop Hendricks basketball Hawks. The Hawks come in 5 and 0 while the Knights come in 4 and 2. The starting lineup for the Knights is number 1 Urban Patrick, number 2, number 3 Charles Lovett, number 14 Sebastian Daly, number 30 Troy Humstead, number 33 Orlando Dawkins. Right now the Knights coming away with a steal as Charles Lovett gets a steal on the, pass, on the passing lane, gets a easy layup, so the Knights go up 2-0. And already the Knights coming in with great defense as Sebastian Daly almost gets a rebound on the outlet pass to Lovett. It is deflected, so possession stays with Mount Vernon. Irvin Patrick with the basketball. Patrick looks to set up, gets it to Love It. Troy Humpstead at the top of the key. Looking for a crossover. Trying to get it inside. 
to Dawkins, but it's deflected out. Possession stays with Mount Vernon. Patrick with the basketball. Almost has it stolen. Kick out to Love It. He's fouled on the three. And he'll be going to the. So Love It will be going to the free throw line for three free throws. First team foul on the Hawks. That personal foul goes on Bobby Ferrito. The lineup for the Hawks right now. Bobby Ferrito at three, number 10, Andre De Los Santos. Number 32, Cameron Hughes. As Lovett goes two of three at the free throw line, so the, the Knights are up four nothing right now. De deflected off of free throw, so possession stays with uh, Mount Vernon. As the horse looks inside, Patrick, Patrick steps out of bounds. Also on the floor for the Hawks, Andrew, San Andrew Sanchez, number 11. So, in high school basketball, New York State, eight minute quarters. So this is the first quarter, seven minutes remaining in the first. Great defense from Dawkins. As they call another, call another foul on Patrick. He can't believe it. Looking to set up. If they move it around, Andrew Sanchez with the basketball. Off the glass, great finish by number four, Sebastian Thomas. Mount Vernon gets the leak out. Daly with the basketball in the corner. Looking for a guard is deflected out as there was some mis some miscommunication between Lovett and Daly. So possession goes back to the Hawks. Mount Vernon leads the Hawks four to two. Cross court pass, three point shot, no good by Ferrito. Rebounded by Humstead as he gets it ahead to Lovett. Humstead at the rim, throws over dribble in the key and the finish is good. So Humstead with the basket, Mount Vernon up six to two. Great pick up there from Dawkins. The three point shot is no good for the Hawks and possession will stay with the Hawks as, as the rebound goes off of uh, Humstead's hands. As a substitution for the Hawks coming in is number 25, Jason, Jason Onye. Inside another floater is good for Thomas. So Thomas has four points already. Another miscommunication for Mount Vernon. Love it and Patrick have not been on the same accord to start the game. The defensive pressure from the Hawks is really, uh, really throwing a wrench in what Mount Vernon wants to do right now. Great defense from Mount Vernon. The Hawks look to move the basketball. They move it around the key. Right wing off the glass. And they call a charge. As Ferrito was a bit out of control there driving to the basket. So turnover forced by Mount Vernon. Offensive foul, three number four, Sebastian Thomas. His first, two second. Excuse me, they call that foul on Thomas. Great pass inside from Patrick to Dawkins. Dawkins picks up his first basket. Mount Vernon leads eight to four. Great move inside from Helio Sousa. Mount Vernon 
looking to push. Love it, float him inside, no good. On the outlet pass, the Hawks looking to score inside is Andre De Los Santos. He'll be going to the free throw line. That personal foul is against Irvin Patrick. Oh, 45, who's got number one? 45, Big up the new guys now. Who you got? Big up the new guys now. 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 Big up the new Both free throws are good. So the game is tied at 8 4 53 remaining in the first. Bailey in the corner looking for a teammate, gets it to Humstead inside. Looking to set up a play. He has to kick it out to Daly. Inside, Humstead can't quite handle that shot. The Hawks are out and running. And we got a charge as Helio Sosa looks to uh, adjust his body in the air, but he was a little bit out of control, so they call a charge. There's some uh, miscommunication with the clock here. Harris couldn't quite handle that inbound, but it's deflected, so possession stays with uh, Mount Vernon. Oh, oh, take his angle away. Take his angle away. Jason Todd. Watch it. Love it, gets it ahead to Daly. In and out, goes baseline, gets it to Harris. Contact, can't quite get it. He goes straight up, and he'll be going to the free throw line. Great tenacity there from Harris on the, on the glass. Personal foul on uh, Jason Onye. Foul three, number 25, Jason Onye. His second, team sport. First free throw is good for Harris. Uh, Sebastian Daly goes to the bench coming in. He's number 23, Damon Scott. Right, with that first free throw, Harris puts him over in the head, nine to eight. Couldn't quite hit the rim on that second one, but he's in the books, first points. Mount Vernon's up nine to eight, four minutes remaining in the first. A little bit too aggressive from Harris there. He picks up a personal foul. Basketball number 11, Andrew Sanchez. He gets it inside. And the finish from Andre De Los Santos. Paul gets it to Lovett. Lovett trying to get it to Humstead inside. Great catch under the rim. Contact and he finishes. 
Uh, I'm setting the books early, four points for Mount Vernon. And they call a travel. A bit out of control from Helio Sousa. being guarded by Thomas, Sebastian Thomas. Homestead at the top of the key. Great fake, pull up jumper. Back rims it. Rebounded by the Hawks. Contact from Homestead. And Angel Sanchez will be going to the free throw line. Sanchez missed that first. So now Troy Hunsay has to go sit down. And coming into the to the game for the Knights is number 35, Julius Cobbs. Both free throws are missed. Strong rebound from Cobbs. My running clinch to an 11-10 lead. And Paul able to draw that foul. That person no fouls on Angel Sanchez. Paul gets it to Love it. Love it for three. Back rims a strong rebound from Harris. Able to tip it out to Paul on the floor. Fighting for that loose ball. The Hawks come away with it. Euro step off the glass, no good. From De La Sosa. Hawks come away with the offensive rebound. Spin move, floater. In and out and in again. Strong move from Sebastian Thomas. So back and forth we go to Hawks lead 12 to 11. Love it, thought about a three. Instead, Skip passes it in the corner to Scott. Paul left wing drives. Floater inside, off the glass, no good. Harris almost gets that rebound. But the host come away with it. Oh, jumping the passing lane is Lovett. And the pressure from Lovett forces that turnover by the Hawks. 2.06 remaining in the first. Mount Vernon trails 12 to 11. Scott corner three, no good. Host come away with that rebound. Sebastian Thomas with the basketball. He gets it to Andre De La Santa. That jump shot came from number 31 to Reek Weeks. Vernon trails 14 to 11. Cobbs couldn't quite handle that entry pass. They were going to rank to Paul. Can't quite knock it down. The Hawks with an opportunity on a fast break. The bucket is good from Sebastian Thomas. So right now, New York, Mount Vernon's uh, offense a bit out of control. They try to get it to Harris inside. Over the shoulder, finish is no good. 50 seconds remaining in the first. Outside jumper, no good. Cobbs come away, strong rebound. Outlet pass to Lovett. Lovett in the paint, contact. And they'll be going back to the free throw line. This is a good opportunity for Mount Vernon to slow the pace down, able to get into their uh, to their defense. Sanchez picks up his second personal foul, so Lovett will be going to the free throw line. When his first appearance, he went two of three from the free throw line. He makes the first here. Harris, 
Lovin makes both free throws. He'll be going to the bench as Nasir Davis comes into the game. Also checking in for Mount Vernon, number 15, Nigel Harris. Cobbs picks up at the top of the key. Time and score, 23 seconds remaining in the first. Hawks lead by three, 16 to 13. Crossover dribble from Thomas. He kicks out to De La Santos, and De La Santos knocks down the three. So two possession game, 19 to 13. Harris with the basketball. Harris drives, goes up for a shot, has it blocked. Cobbs off the glass and good. So for Mount Vernon, despite their offensive struggles, goes into the second quarter with some momentum as Cobbs knocks in the basket. Hawks lead 19 to 15 at the end of the first. So we'll be back with much more. This is the Mount Vernon High School presentation. Hawks lead uh, the 19 to 15. We'll be back with more. Knights get the basketball to start the second quarter. There's lineup on the floor for the, for the Knights. Number 22, Nasir Davis at guard. Nigel Harris, number 15. Orlando Dawkins, Troy Hunstead, and Selwyn Paul. Hunstead can't quite get that jumper to fall. They work it around. Skip pass. Right corner. Works it around to the left Go corner. The three-pointer is no good for the Hawks. On a fast break to Harris. Can't get that finish. On the, on the offensive rebound, Davis couldn't quite handle it, so it's def deflected out. Inside. What a pass, but unable to finish is number 32, Cameron Hughes. Mount Vernon dropped, dodged the bullet there. Harris on the left wing looking for a teammate. Gets it to Paul. Dawkins inside, takes contact. No foul call. Paul tries to get it to Harris, but it's stolen. Thomas can't quite get that to finish on the inside. Blocks, but they call a foul inside. As Andre De Los Santos was in the paint, putting in pain. Foul white number 30, Troy Humpstead, the second team's fifth. Troy Homestead picks up that second personal foul, so that's the 15th foul on Mount Vernon. Andre De Los Santos able to knock in that. Andre, number three said we're gonna go 45 gold. 45 gold. That first free throw, so right now it's 20 to 15. Both free throws good by De Los Santos. Two possession game, 21-15, 6-30 remaining in the first half. Davis looking to set up, gets it to Harris in the left corner. Harris drives baseline, He's looking for Dawkins inside. He misses the first layup, but the tenacity on the offensive glass gets him to put back. So four point game. Dawkins able to score 21-17, Hawks lead. As Lovett picks up a foul there, going to the free throw line is Th Thomas. Foul white number three, Charles Lovett. 
is first, team six. Sebastian Thomas, the line. One more shot. Thomas missed the first free throw. Second free throw was good. So five point game, 22-17. Harris gets the inbound, crosses the timeline, looking for a guard. Gets it to Lovett. Lovett on the left wing. Brought up by De La Santos, looking for a screen. Denies it. Great fake inside, and he's able to finish. And my brother looks to trap. Oh. Almost got, almost a steal there for Love It. De La Santos kicks out. Inside, and we have a blocking foul. As Angel Sanchez drove to the rack there, that personal foul's on Nigel Harris. Picks up his first. Found white number 15, Nigel Harris. His first, team seven. Angel Sanchez to the line, two shots. Sanchez hits the back rim of that first free throw, but it, it's able to bounce in, so. Check in for the Hawks on the pass, Sebastian Basilio. Second free throw, no good, but De La Santos able to get that offensive rebound. Coming into the game is Sebastian Basilio. He's able to kick out to uh, Sebastian Thomas. He'll be going back to the free throw line. The eighth team foul on Mount Vernon. Foul number 22, Davis. His first, team's eight. Davis picks up that personal foul. Sebastian Thomas to the line, three shots. Thomas will be going to the line for three free throws. Makes the first. Second free throw is good. Third free throw is no good. So I'm running able to get that rebound. Harris on the left wing. Mount Vernon trails by five, 24 to 19. Inside Dolphins. Picks out the Davis right wing. Resets. Five minutes left and a half. Mount Vernon trails by five. Harris gets inside the Dolphins. Great find. And Dolphins will be going to the free throw line. Personal foul on Angel Sanchez. Foul green number 11, Angel Sanchez. His third, team seven. Seventh team foul on the Hawks. That's Sanchez's third personal foul. Dawkins free throw is good. So it's a two point game. 24-22, the Hawks lead the night. Great pressure from, from Davis, but the Hawks are forced to call a timeout. And Mount Vernon looks to be building some momentum. It'll be a 30 second timeout, so we'll stay here. This game is going back and forth. Mount Vernon uh, hasn't quite been as crisp from an execution standpoint, but they've been able to find baskets on the interior. Uh, Dawkins has been performing well, and uh, Charles Lovett has been able to keep Mount, Mount Vernon in the game as well offensively. Uh, deep, on the defensive end, they, they found it really difficult to guard Sebastian Thomas. He's been able to get inside. And also, on the weak side, Andre De La Santos has been able to uh, catch some passes and get into the paint as well. So right now, uh, Mount Vernon is being very scrappy, but they're in for a dog fight in terms of how competitive this Bishop Hendricks team is, they come in at 5-0, and Mount Vernon is 4-2, and so both teams are, are up for the challenge. So out of the timeout, the Hawks have the basketball. Love it. Pressing up against uh, Thomas. Thomas 
gets it uh, to Ferrito. Into the game is Helio Sosa. De Los Santos for three. He can't knock it down on a tip out. Uh, Davis couldn't quite get it to a teammate. Blocked inside. And Sebastian Daly on a, on a fast break. Contact, and he gets a layup. So the game right now, Will Vernon is down by one, 25-24. And great deflection by, by Davis. He thought it was all ball, but they call a foul. Wait, no, they don't call a foul. They just say it went out of bounds. Thumbs up! So that was, that's a break from Mount Vernon. Knock, and Davis comes away with that steal. Love it. Gives it to Harris. Daly driving and they call a charge. It could have been called a blocking foul, but uh, the, the referees have been very consistent with how they've been calling that block charge uh, this game. So right now, Mount Vernon just has to adjust with, a, with, some of their, with some of their contact. Good trap from Mount Vernon, but the Hawks are able to break it. Thomas for three. On the left wing, knocks it down. So Sebastian Thomas has been really prolific here in his first half, pushing this lead to four for uh, Bishop Hendricks. Floater inside for, for Davis. Can't knock it down, but possession stays with Mount Vernon. Inside to Dawkins, off the glass. Great find from Lovett. Three point shot is no good for the Hawks. Harris pushing a break. Daly at the rim. Contact and he's able to finish. So Daly's been able to gain the groove offensively these last couple of minutes. The game is tied at 28. Almost stolen from Mount Vernon. In the paint, almost blocked by Dawkins, blocked by Davis. Great interior defense on the break from Mount Vernon. Love it for three, rims out. So the game is picked up flow-wise. De Los Santos almost had a three. Great close out there from Harris. At the top of the key, Thomas looks to reset. With the basketball, Sosa works it around. Great defense from Dawkins here. At the rim, they call a charge on Sebastian Basilio as he was out of control. We approach two minutes remaining in the half. Uh, Mount Vernon makes substitutions. Great, uh, great activity there from Nigel Harris as he goes to the bench. Sebastian Daly also goes to the bench. Both players providing great. Uh, energy off the bench for Coach Bob Tamino. Game is tied at 28. 216 remaining into the game from Mount Vernon is Damon Scott. And also number 31, uh, Javon Young. Dawkins off the glass. Can't quite knock it down. Scott with that rebound. They reset to Davis. Love it. Good up, fake. Off the glass, no good. Scott with another offensive rebound, saving possession. Davis kicks out to Scott. Scott looking for a teammate, gets it to Dawkins. Inside to Scott, off the glass. Can't finish that layup. But Davis gets the offensive rebound, and Mount Vernon resets. Fresh shot clock. Davis takes pressure from Bobby Frito. Davis with the fake, has it blocked. Scott with another offensive rebound. So Scott's been saving many possessions for, for Coach Tamino. Love it, at the rim, takes contact, no foul. Another offensive rebound. Get on the floor, baby. Oh, but they fight for it, so timeout called by the Hawks. Great activity there from, from the Knights, but they weren't able to get a basket. 
So we approach a minute remaining, one minute and four seconds remaining in the first half. Full timeout from Isaiah Rhodes here as the Mount Vernon Knights go up against the Bishop Hendrickson Basketball Hawks. 5-0 Hawks, 4-2 Knights. So we'll be back with much more. Out of the timeout, Hawks with the basketball. They look to push off the glass. Uh, Perito able to draw the foul. The 10th team foul on Mount Vernon. Javon Young picks up his first personal foul. Rito can't make that first free throw, so that's been the one um, impediment of the, the Hawks right now. If it wasn't for their free throws, they'll be up by much more. So, Mount Vernon's dodging many bullets here. So, it's a one point game, under a minute, 58 seconds in the first half. Hawks lead the Knights 29 28. Scott looks to get it to Young inside. Dawkins takes contact with the glass, and Dawkins has another basket. So the one consistent interior presence that we've seen is Dawkins, as the, as the Knights almost forced a turnover, but uh, the Hawks able to, able to provide that loose ball and get an easy basket for uh, number 10, De Los Santos. So back and forth we go in this seesaw game. Hawks lead the Knights 31-30. Davis with the basketball, 15 seconds left. Looking to set up, Scott, eight seconds left. Looking for a teammate, gets it to Lovett. Five on the clock, three on the clock. Lovett, step back jumper. Off the, has it deflected. And the Hawks go into the half up against the Knights, 31 to 30. Both teams have fought extremely hard, very competitive, very defensive. Uh, there's been, it's been real choppy because of fouls, but in the middle of the second quarter, the flow definitely picked up, and both teams showed that they were game for the, the competition. So we'll be back. It's a 10-minute intermission, so we'll be back with much more on this Mount Vernon High School presentation of Mount Vernon High School basketball. The Knights trail the Hawks 31-30. to 30. We'll be back with uh, two minutes remaining before the half to break down the stats and much more. Isaiah Rhodes will be back. Welcome back to the second half of this Mount Vernon High School broadcast where the Knights are going up against the Bishop Hendrickson uh, Hawks. Right now, the Knights trail 31 to 30. Uh, they're led by Orlando Dawkins, 11 points, and uh, Charles Levitt for the Knights has eight points. And out of the, out of the half, uh, Hendrickson can't score. Uh, looking to get an outlet pass. The basket is good for number four, Sebastian Thomas. So he comes out and scores early. In the first half, Thomas had uh, 14 points, so his, his point total is up to 16. So it's a three-point game, Knights trail, 33-30. to 30. Homestead can't score. Free throw looking to get it to Thomas for three, in and out. Rebounded by Dawkins on the outlet pass. Love it by itself. Can't quite handle it. So possession goes to the Hulk. Patrick into the game for Mount Vernon. He picked up two early fouls that forced him to sit down a bit earlier than he probably wanted to. Thomas off the spin move, blocked by Dawkins. 
but they're working around the key. Free throw for three. Can't knock it down. Patrick with the rebound. Love it. Gets it to Dawkins inside the Humpster. Back shoulder spin off the glass and good. A great post move from Humpstead. Rito with the basketball. Rito tried to get a floater inside. Can't finish it. Strong rebound by Cameron Hughes. Deflected. Great pickup from, from Lovett. Turn on the shot clock. De Los Santos would be up and under at, on a drive baseline. Andre De Los Santos scores his first basket of the second half. He gets his point total up to 13. Daly has some key baskets in the first half. Turns over the basketball there. But great effort from Patrick to get it back from Mount Vernon. Humpstead gets it to De to love it, love it for three. Couldn't quite uh, find a range there. On a fast break, two on one. And Coach Amino has to call a timeout. And Sebastian Thomas scores once again. And it's a five point, five point lead for the Hawks, 37 to 32. Full timeout for Coach Amino in the night. So we'll be back with more on Isaiah Rhodes and this Mount Vernon High School broadcast. Timeout, New York with the basketball. Irvin Patrick at the rim, and they call a charge. It's an unfortunate call that Patrick hasn't been able to catch any rhythm because of his foul trouble. He picks up his third. We're close five minutes remaining in the third. Mount Vernon trails uh, Bishop. Hendrickson, 37-32. Great defense from Patrick, tries to save it. Can't quite do so, but Patrick, despite his, uh, his offensive rhythm not being there, he's been able to you know, get deflections and stay engaged defensively. Inside Hughes, guarded by Dawkins. Tries to get something inside. Great up and under over Dawkins. Couldn't finish it. Great defense from Humstead and Dawkins, but they couldn't get that rebound. And they call a charge on Hughes. Excuse me, they, they call that foul on Andre De Los Santos. That's the first, that's the first uh, foul. First half, excuse me, the second half. Inside, Humstead off the glass, and good. Detroit Humstead getting in a groove offensively here in this third quarter. Scored both baskets for uh, Mount Vernon to start this quarter. 37-34, Mount Vernon trail. De Los Santos takes Humstead off the dribble there. So the score is 39-34. De Los Santos point total up to 15.
Patrick with the basketball. Love it. He gets it to Homestead inside, eight on the clock. Tries to spin baseline, but it's stolen. De La Santos finds a teammate, had a layup himself. Instead, gets it to Sanchez. Dawkins picks up his first personal foul. First free throw is good. Coming in for Mount Vernon is Nigel Harris and number uh, 25, number 25, Jason Onye, coming to the game for the Hawks. It's a seven point game. Sanchez knocks in both free throws. 41 34, Hawks lead. Patrick looking to get it looking to get it to Dawkins inside, but uh, it's a kick ball. Inside. Humpstead. Strong finish inside. Texas, Texas, Five-point game, 41-34. Patrick picks up. Sanchez couldn't quite finish that layup, but as, uh, as Sanchez tried to get that uh, that pass back in bound, he stepped out of bounds, so possession goes back to Mount Vernon. Five point game, 41-36. Someone pull into the game for the Knights. Inside, they get it into Humstead. Humstead able to draw that foul on the sweep through. Jason! Jason! Personal foul picked up against uh, Jason Onye. This third and second. Humstead looking for a teammate. Gets it to Harris. Lovett can't knock down the three. But Dawkins off the glass and good. So right now, Mount Vernon trying to build some momentum. Two straight baskets. And it's a three-point game. Almost a push-off there. Onye couldn't quite handle that. Love it at the paint. And he finishes with the left hand off the glass. So it's a one-point game, 41-40. Mount Vernon not going away. Sanchez gets it inside to Onye. Onye thinks better of it and gets it to De La Santos. De La Santos guarded by Harris. Harris tries to beat him to the spot. And we have a jump ball. Great effort there by Harris. As he beats De La Santos to the spot, and he gets possession to go to uh, Mount Vernon. So we have a timeout. We have a timeout by the Hawks. It'll be a full timeout, so we'll be back with more. 41-40, the Hawks lead the Knights, but the Knights are on a 4-0 run, 145 remaining in the third quarter. Forty-one forty. out of the timeout, my running with the basketball. Love it, floater, and he knocks it down. So Mount Vernon with the lead, 42-41. Great deflection from Paul there. Right now, Mount Vernon's on a 6-0 run. Excuse me, an 8-0 run. On an 8-0 run right now. Looking to take control of this game. Orlando Dawkins goes out of the game. Julius Cobbs comes in. At the top of the key, love it. Guarding Ferrito. 
looked to be a travel. The rest didn't call that. Onye, in the post guard of a Humstead, gets it to Ferrito, and he can't quite handle that, that jumper. It's an air ball, so rebounded by Humstead. Get him up. Get his ass out. Love it for three. No good. Fighting for that rebound is Onye. He's able to get it out. Sanchez thought about a floater, gets it to Onye. Onye kick out to Thomas. Thomas unable to knock it in. Sanchez can't get that floater on an outlet pass. Great outlet pass from Humstead. And the layup is good by Lovett. But that play was made totally by Humstead. That outlet pass is reminiscent of West Unsell. Mount Vernon taking control here in this third quarter, 44-41. Personal foul picked up by Selwyn Paul. First personal foul. Team's third. Paul picks up top of the key. Looks to be a bit of a push off there, but great defense from Paul as they fight for the rebound possession and goes to Mount Vernon. So great, great effort there by Paul on the, on the perimeter. Make that shot very difficult on Sanchez, for Sanchez. So at the end of this quarter, shot clock off, 16 seconds left. In the third quarter, 44-41. Mount Vernon in the midst of a 10-0 run, take control of this game. Humstead thought about a shot, has it deflected. They get it at the top to Charles Lovett, he can't knock it in. But Mount Vernon took control of that third quarter, the second half of the third. They go into the fourth quarter with a three-point three lead, 44 to 41. So we'll be back after the break with much more in the fourth quarter and the closeout of a, of a tough game on both sides. To start the fourth, the Hawks with the basketball. Good pressure from Lovett. On the three, def deflected by Harris. Great close out there. Three-pointer was no good by Helio Sosa. And a great find as Cobb's able to get that finish. A five-point lead from Mount Vernon as they fight for that basketball. Selwyn Paul fighting for the loose ball. But they call a foul on Paul. He picks up his second, but great effort fighting for that loose ball. Deflected by Harris. He crosses the timeline. Great defense from Lovett, making it very difficult on Thomas. Sanchez, great find inside contact. And De La Santos will be going to the free throw line. As, as Thomas had, had a dominant first half, four, 14 points, he's only scored four here in the second half. Cobb picks up his second, second personal foul. De La Santos makes the first free throw. Uh, Mount Vernon's defense is totally picked up here in the second half. They've been able to defend without fouling and uh, preventing, uh, preventing the host from getting to the free throw line. De La Santos wasn't able to make the second, but they were able to get a tip in. That tip in goes to Tariq Reese. Humstead at the rim, looking for Cobb. He probably should have went up himself. But the turnover put him from Mount Vernon. And this rebound is important. Humstead comes away with it. Gets it to Harris. Harris off the glass, and it's good. So the, so the Knights able to maintain a two possession lead. That was a big rebound from Humstead at this point in the game. Paul able to pick up Sanchez. Paul. We call a foul on uh, Paul. He picks up his third personal foul. 
It's starting to set. So Julius Cobb will be heading to the bench as uh, Orlando Dawkins will be coming back into the game. Uh, Dawkins with 13 points so far. Been able to really uh, compliment uh, Humstead inside. And Sanchez can knock down that three. A great rebound from Humstead there on the outlet. A little bit too strong from Lovett. But great, great idea there, but just a little bit too strong. So, da so now Sid Davis will have to come into the game for Paul. Paul's played an exceptional game defensively, uh, but he's in a bit of foul trouble here, so Coach Firmino has to protect him. Get on the floor. Great effort from both sides. Mount Vernon has the potential to get a turnover. The possession goes to the Knights. Oh, so we can just run guys over now? Two possession game. Mount Vernon leads 48-44 as we approach six minutes remaining in this fourth quarter. Inside, Humpstead takes contact. Great block from Hughes. Cameron Hughes with a huge weak side block. And the three-pointer is good to Sebastian Thomas. So the Hawks will not go away. 48-47, Mount Vernon leads. Love it. Off the glass, no good. Humpstead, offensive rebound. Can't quite get it. And the Hawks come away. Opportunity to take the lead. De Los Santos off the glass and it's good. So now the Hawks take the lead, 537 remaining. Now Sid Davis picks up his second personal foul. Free throw is good, so it's a two-point game, 50 to 48. Uh, Vernon has to continue to build. Dawkins off the glass jumper, no good. Humstead contact and he finishes. So Troy Humstead with great energy, able to score. Humstead with that rebound, Harris gets it to Love it off the glass. And it's good. So back-to-back -back baskets from Mount Vernon. And Mount Vernon takes the lead 52 to 50. Jumper is good. The three-pointer is good by Tariq Weeks. Fifty-three, fifty-two. The Hawks lead. Davis has it deflected, but they call a foul on Sanchez. He picks up his fourth personal foul. Andrew Sanchez picks up four personal fouls. Back and forth we go, Ch uh, Ch Charles Lovett with the basketball. Looking to set up Humstead inside. Humstead's looking for a teammate. Gets it to Lovett. Lovett kicks out to Harris. Jumper is good. So Nigel Harris comes up huge. He's been playing big on the defensive side, but he comes up with a huge basket to give Mount Vernon the lead as we approach four minutes remaining. Three-point shot, no good. Mount Vernon comes away with the rebound. One-point lead. Humstead tries to find a teammate, gets it to Lovett. Lovett, great protect dribble there. Floater, no good. And the Hawks come away with the rebound. Outlet. Humstead there to protect. 
But strong finish by Sebastian Thomas. Sebastian Thomas. His first bucket of the fourth quarter. One point lead for the Hawks. Davis looking to, looking to set up, looking to find a way. Davis, jumper, no good. Weeks with the rebound. Reed though, this is the De Los Santos. He's been able to score big in the second half. Weeks with the floater inside, can't knock it down. And possession stays with the Hawks. And Perito goes to the to the to the free throw line. Found boy number fifteen, Nigel Harris. Nigel Harris picks up his second person. Second team Eighth team foul for Mount Vernon. So that first free throw was good for a free throw. Two point game, 56-54. Free throw makes both, so it's a three point game. Paul faces the trap. Paul able to get it to Harris. Love it, trying to get a reverse layup, can't knock it down. Paul gets it to Love it for three, can't knock it down. De Los Santos is called for the charge. So big charge picked up and Mount Vernon has to call a timeout. Three point game, 57-54. Team's full foul, his second personal foul. So we'll be back after this full timeout. Isaiah Rose, and we are coming down to the wire. Harris looking for a teammate out of the timeout, gets it to Paul. Love it. At the top of the key. Now Vernon has to find a basket. Paul gets it inside. Dawkins off the glass, can't finish. And we have a foul. Personal foul called against Sebastian Harris, I mean Sebastian Thomas. So Mount Vernon basketball, they dodged the bullet there. Umstead at the rim, faces a triple team, they call a jump ball. We approach two minutes remaining. 30 second timeout call by Coach Amino. Trying to get some execution down the stretch. 2-11 remaining. Um, uh, Mount Vernon led by as many as, as uh, five points. But um, as we said throughout the game, it's been a seesaw game both ways. Both teams playing extremely hard. The Hawks have not gone away. They've been led by uh, Sebastian Thomas. He has 20 points here in this game. 14 in the first half, Andre De Los, De Los Santos uh, has, uh, what is that, 6, 11, so 17 points. So both of those players have carried the offense for the Hawks. They've been able to get some timely baskets also from Tariq Weeks down the stretch to really push this lead. So they have a three-point lead from Mount Vernon, 
They've been led by uh, Troy Humstead, Charles Lovett, and Orlando Dawkins. Uh, Nigel Harris has come up with some huge baskets as well to, to keep this game close. So in his last two minutes, we'll have to see how uh, Mount Vernon comes away with, with scores. And out of the timeout, it's stolen by Thomas. It's stolen right back by Mount Vernon. At the rim is Charles Lovett, so he'll be going to the free throw line. We're going to cut this lead to one. Two shots, guys. Two shots. Final three, number 32, Cameron Hughes. His first team six. Charles Lovett to the line. Hughes picks up his first personal foul. Lovett makes the first. Checking in for the Hawks, number one, Andrew Sanchez. Two point game, 57 55. Both free throws are made, so it's a one point game. 57 56. Hawks lead the Knights. De Los Santos guarded by Lovett. Harris, who's come up huge defensively here in the second half, looks to be guarding uh, Ferrito at the top. De Los Santos with the basketball, looking to work some clock. We approach 10 on the shot clock. They get it to Thomas. De Los Santos drops, contact, and it has to be a charge, but they call a blocking foul. Wow. Dawkins picks up his second personal foul, so. Free throw is no good. Mount Vernon gets the, the rebound. So it's a one point game. 57 56, 124 remaining. I'm running with an opportunity to take this lead. Selwyn Paul with the basketball. Gets it inside the Humstead. Humstead looks to score, can't get it. And Dawkins looked to get that offensive rebound, but he couldn't get it. And uh, Humstead, Humstead uh, picks up the foul, so now Mount Vernon's in the, Mount Vernon's in the double penalty. Right number 30, Troy Humstead. His third team's 10. So Humstead was a bit frustrated on that, on that uh, no call there on his end, so they called it. They are uh, intentional foul. So the first free throw from free throw is, uh, is good, but the, the thing about an intentional foul is it's two free throws in possession. So while, um, while uh, the Hawks have a three-point lead, they also get the possession with 107 remaining. One minute, seven seconds remaining. So it's a full timeout called by Hendrickson. So we'll be back with more. 59-56, Hendrickson leads uh, Mount Vernon. So out of the timeout, we're in uh, dangerous waters here for Mount Vernon. Approaching one minute remaining. Still a one possession game, but it's a three point game. 59-56. Love it. Ryan and Thomas, they get it to Frito. Frito guarded by Harris. Nobody's in the paint. Blocked by Harris. Great block there. Ball has to push it to save clock. Uh, 40 seconds remaining. Harris with the basketball. They have to find a basket. Harris gets it to Paul. Paul. Looking to call a play. 34 seconds remaining. And uh, Mount Vernon able to, able to pick up a foul. 
So it's a one and one for Paul. Aubrey, fundamental defense. So both teams making adjustments here to substitution. Because it's the one on one, both coaches need their uh, front line to be very aware on this rebound, potentially. Paul, first free throw is good. So he has ice water in his veins. First free throw is good. Still a one possession game, 59 57. 32 and a half seconds. Box out! Second free throw, no good. Humpstead up. Offensive rebound, fighting for it. And we have a uh, rebound and a timeout. Timeout by the Hawks. Uh, couldn't quite get that put back from Hunstead. Under the nine. 30 seconds. What does he have left? 30? That's it? 30 seconds. That was it, right? 30? Okay. He's finished, right? 29 seconds left. 59 57. Mount Vernon trails. The Hawks. Great deflection from Harris. Couldn't quite get the steal. Another potential steal there. And they call a foul. Nigel Harris almost had potential steals there, but Nigel has to be called for the foul there. Harris picks up his third. First free throw was good. 60 to 57. Second free throw, no good. Humpstead with the basketball. Gives it to Paul. Paul has to push. Paul looking for a teammate. Drives baseline. Looking for a shot. Has it deflected. Goes off his knee. A possession. Do we have one timeout? Do we have one? Do we have a timeout? Timeout called by Coach Semino. Full timeout by Coach Semino. 7.6 seconds remaining. Uh, Mount Vernon had an opportunity to get a shot there. Just unable to. Uh, Unable to get a clean look there. So Bishop, Bishop Hendrickson uh, has been really, really, really scrappy. I mean, on both sides, both, both teams have uh, competed extremely hard. It's just those timely baskets, those timely rebounds have not been able to fall uh, Mount Vernon's way. They've had multiple opportunities. Uh, at one point here in the fourth, they had a uh, five-point lead after coming back. Uh, from trailing by seven, but I, I think just uh, the stamina uh, in, in certain respects really prevented uh, Mount Vernon from finishing this game as best as, as best as they could. But with that said, it's still 7.6 seconds remaining, and we've seen stranger things happen. So uh, there's still a, the slimmest of slimmest chances. So we have to see how it goes. Inbound. Harris couldn't get the deflection. And we have an opportunity for a steal. But they, but they call another foul on Harris. First free throw is good for free throw. Four point game. Free throw misses the second. 
Love it for three. No good. And the Mount Vernon fails to get the W this, uh, on this Saturday. They fall by four to Bishop Hendrickens, uh, 61 to 57. Uh, great performance from uh, Sebastian Thomas on their side. He ended with uh, 20 points. Andre De Los Santos ended with 17. And uh, some, some strong baskets down the stretch from Bobby Frito. Strong Frito shooting as well. On Mount Vernon's side, they got a strong performance from Orlando Dawkins, a strong performance from uh, Troy Humstead. Humstead ended with uh, 14 points, excuse me, 12 points. Uh, Dawkins ended with uh, 15 points. And uh, some strong defensive performances from Nigel Harris and Selwyn Paul. Uh, despite despite uh, great defensive performances on both sides, just those little those little mistakes on the margins really prevented from Mount Vernon from folding out this victory. But they'll be back with much more. There's another home game from Mount Vernon on January 4th, so I'll be there to broadcast for you guys. I'm Isaiah Rhodes. This is a Mount Vernon High School presentation of much more. And as the season goes along, we'll be back.